Hey there, it's Magic Flying Potato. Uh, playing, gonna play some City Skylines. Uh, I have not played this in, I think it's been a couple years, I think it has. Um, so, you know, uh, being that um, way things are out there, I decided that I was gonna give some old games some try, trying out. And uh, so, decided I'll go back into and give City Skylines a uh, play that some more. Um, also want to thank everyone that has uh, recently subscribed and all my old subscribers to the channel. I know I haven't been around for a while. I had some computer issues, uh, pretty much where I had to just reload my entire computer and uh, my games. And also got a new headset that I've been trying out, trying to get the settings right. So uh, if, if my voice quality does not sound good, let me know and I'm just... Uh, Trying to trying to tweak the options. Um, currently, I bought a pair of uh, Razer Kraken Tournament Edition headphones that I could use both with my PC and uh, Xbox. I have been starting to play my Xbox a little bit more uh, lately. Ever since my computer did the crash two weeks ago, uh, been playing. Uh, I picked up Borderlands Three. Been playing with a friend online. So. Ended up getting some headphones that I can use both with my Xbox and the PC. So, so far I, I like them. They're very comfortable. Um, sound comes out. The sound quality uh, is very good in them as well. So, I definitely definitely like them. I just hope that the, the my voice is coming across fine. It's just some settings that I'll have to probably tweak in the near future. So, like I said, I'm going to play some City Skylines. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this not very long. You know, kind of gets bored watching, boring watching somebody play. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and load a new game. I was going to start this earlier, and I did not. Or I did start earlier, and then I was going to start the video, but I decided I'll just start from the beginning to give you guys, if you have never played the game, uh, kind of a view of what it is all about. Uh, oops, let me just give it a... It's um, definitely a very involved city builder. Uh, they definitely ha they have a lot of download downloadable content that comes with it. Um, de it it's it's a very well supported game. Again, it's been out for I know it's been out for a few years because I've been playing it for a few years, but it's been out longer. Uh, you can get it on Steam. I will put the link below in 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 the uh, description. All right, so. It does have a tutorial uh, to help you out. Um, pause button right here. Uh, you know, city information. This is what your residents of the city are demanding. Uh, you got the residential, business, commercial, current temperature. This can be adjusted in the settings to Fahrenheit or Celsius. I know most people use Celsius. Uh, being from them, from the states. I use Fahrenheit. Um, I, I have been picking up on Celsius more being over here in Europe, uh, but still not comfortable with everything on it. So I, I use Fahrenheit because I know what that is. Uh, here's what you start off with. Population. All this is your building stuff over here. Uh, bulldoze stuff to remove it. Uh, for this game, you have you start off it gives you zones to start off with like this so we'll start off in this zone right here and uh, once you reach a certain level of population you got the option to expand your zones it will give you another grid square area to expand um, it does give you the highways and stuff so right here it's telling you to uh, connect roads to the main highway so you can start building this right here is your um, help guy the chirper, it, it pretty much it kind of lets you know what the citizens want or, yeah, citizens want, need, demands, complaints, because that's what they do. Uh, disasters. Oh, I can't see that with my little counter there. Something views. Different views. Oh, different, different views of your city. City views. All right, so let's go ahead and build a couple roads. We'll make this small. Small city to start off with, nothing fancy. 
Um, this I've I've seen people that made cities that <laughs> they they go way they go all out. Uh, they they know all the techniques and stuff like that to build and. It's if you ever get stuck on this game, if you do get it and you start building and trying to figure things out, just Google uh, YouTube some videos and you got some people that are amazing with with what they're doing. Uh, so they want us to build some roads, so we're gonna just build some basic roads. The more these will unlock later on as you get citizens. So you got your your regular roads, you got your two lane highways, two lane medium your two lane medium roads, large roads. Highways, intersections, um, road condition, oh, road maintenance, and snow, and toll booths. So we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, down here you have uh, a snap toggle, so you could easily it snaps and makes it pretty easy to build roads. Um, got roads with curves, freehand roads where you can just build however you want. Uh, you could upgrade a road instead of like tearing it down. If you select a section of road, you could upgrade it. And if you always have troubles, there's that advisor right there. Uh, this is elevation to, to build elevated roads. But we're just going to build uh, just a basic road. Going to come out. I'm going to say to... Uh, we're going to do construction cost of 2000 And right down at the bottom, you can see right... In this section, you can see the degree of roads, so 180 degrees, kind of, and it snaps into place like 90, so it helps, it helps you kind of, you know, get things uh, equal. So I'm going to go ahead and build two of them to 2,000, and so you just click, hold, and then once you get to where you want, you click again, and it drops. And then we'll connect these two right here like that. And there we go. And then to get out of the road, you just do a right click and it removes the road building icon altogether. So we'll go ahead and continue to play from here. Uh, again, they want um, residential zoning. So click here. Low density. High density, which will unlock at 7,000. Low density commercial. High density commercial. Uh, industrial. And then... D zone. That means if you have something out here that is one zone and you want to get rid of it, you just D zone it. Uh, so what we want to do is build low density commercial. And this is this one right here is uh, a bit different for me. Uh, okay, so this is flood fill. Uh, you get rid of flood fill. As you can see, it does a whole big area, which Right now, I don't want to do, so I want to do a uh, marquee, which is you just click, and you do that, and I don't want to build there, so I right-clicked out of it, because uh, I know I want to expand these roads going different directions, so you definitely want to take an account of where your new intersections are going to be at, and we'll do a housing area on both sides. Um, and I'm going to build like a double road here in the future so so we'll go six across both sides alright um, so we got it. so as you see they start building uh, we're going to definitely need um Water, sewage to be put in, as well as electricity. Without electricity, they don't have any power. So the way this works is you got your electricity. You click over there. Pull out a little bit. Um, so you got your power lines. And it tells you how much it costs a week and to build. And you got your coal power plant, which... The upkeep per week and your initial cost, the pollution level, noise pollution. Uh, later on, you get these unlocked, the wind turbines. Uh, see, they're wanting water and power. So for wind, 
here's an interesting thing. On this game, they have, when you click on a wind turbine, they have areas of wind. The darker the color, the more wind it is. So say, I can't put it here because it's outside my city limits. But like, if you put it over here, you get seven milliwatts of electricity with wind. Uh, down here, you get six. As you get further out, that's five. That's three, two, uh, and over here you get eight because it's very windy over here. But if I put it over here, I'm going to have to build power lines from here to here. See how that works? See how the, um, if I put the windmill, or the windmill, yeah, it is a windmill. The wind turbine in this area, see the, uh, the circle, which will supply that area, which means I will not need to put power lines problem is is put it where there's not a lot of wind um, so we'll put it right here where it's still four and we still cover a lot all right drop that right there so now they're gonna get power and now we need to put some water in um, so you got over here you got water sewage and over here you got heating but we don't have the heating just yet so we're gonna have to put in water pipes uh, pumping station water drain it's a uh, it is a, a very in-depth type game um, so if we put piping straight down here, we're going to cover both areas. Uh, we're going to need, I think, a water tower. So go ahead and put a water tower. I want to put it in the middle. Yeah, I'll put it in the middle for now. We could always take it down to move it. So go ahead and put the water tower in. Um, but we do need to connect it. And I got to connect it to a pumping station. Uh, they don't need to be looped. So <laughs> I got a ways to go for a pumping station. As you can see, uh, closest area is this. It's always straight lines. It'll be straight out across. So what I can do is connect the pumping station. Oh no, it's going to be, see that's 21. That's still 21. Uh, 21, four, so yeah, if I do it straight out across, I wanna to try to keep it at a 90. Yeah, so that's a 90 degree angle. Um, go ahead and put the pipeline in there, but I need to drop, I'll drop this as close to the water as possible. Like that, and then we'll connect the pipes. There. All right. Um, so now they want sewage. Now, the thing about sewage is, again, it's going to dump it into the water. Um, so you don't want to put your sewage up here because, as you can see, the water direction is going this way. If you put your sewage up here. It's going to flow into your, uh, and I need to power this. It's going to flow into your uh, pumping station. So you're going to pump poo back into your area, and you really don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is first, uh, we're going to put a wind turbine. Five, six. 
this area. So yeah, that still connects six, six, seven. I think this will connect it because it's still touching. I'm gonna put it in the water. Six, five, put it right here. Is that oh no, see I'm made a I made a mistake. Um but what I'll do is put a I think if you connect That won't work either. Put my raw sewage. Yeah, we could definitely move this a later. A later. Move that later. Connect that to there. Um, so that's connected. We'll just put. Uh, I don't know if I have to. How power lines are working. Well, let's see this. Does this work? Like that? Do I have to actually not? Okay, uh, are they powering? Yes, okay, so they just connect the blue zones to blue zone. Um, all right, so. Back to it's snowing. Pretty good. Raw stones, it's nighttime. Looks like a lightning snowstorm. So the people want industry and commercial. Uh, think about industry. Industrial zones, as they do complete, create a lot of pollution. So, let's give it a little screen. See if I could. Eh. What I can do is put some industrial. I guess I'll extend my roads more and do some industrial out this way. Is, is I will be outside the um I don't want to let's see look at the map I can put some industri ind industry up here what I also want to do so to alleviate road conditions where they have to come all the way down and turn around There, that will create traffic. So it's not working. Uh, why is the sewers not working? Sewers should be working. All right, let's go back to roads. Build an intersection here, and we'll put maybe put the industry over here, out in this direction. Eh, why not? Um, so definitely need to add power to the industry area. What we'll do is just. for now uh, let me give them see if five six put it here So 
that is connected to the industry. And then we'll run some pipes. without so much overlap like this I guess Alright, so getting some industry going. We're still losing money, but economy tab. So this is what electricity is costing. Water sewage is a lot. Um, okay, that is road maintenance. do all kinds of taxes and money management from this screen. So we're bringing in 84, 85. The industry's bringing in this much, but our expenses are commercial as well and demand for housing is going up um, so we'll put some more houses in I guess they want build it a little bit bigger can I no get closer in And then we'll put some commercial, put it all the way out to here, and we'll see if I have to run electricity over there. Still gonna bring us some weekly income. Like like a lot of these builder games, they're they're slow to start off with, but once you get them up and running, um, that's when the uh, fun slash headache really starts. Is just trying to uh, meet everybody's needs, keeping within your your bank balance, and and then you realize that your first initial thoughts on how you wanted to build stuff were going to work out in your head but then you realize uh, my traffic is horrible so like these areas if this grows up to be a big city area these little small streets for traffic is going to be so bad that you're like uh, and then you have to like dezone and destroy things and move stuff around or try to deal with traffic other ways and it's definitely hard that's why I'm trying to give it a little, little space so I can like build bigger roads there and bigger roads here. 
why they don't have water here. Oh. Uh, so I could do. Kind of wish the water zones were more square than circle. that let's see if our power is okay so yeah the power does actually start connecting as you connect your your land areas it gets to a point where you do have to put power lines in but like here if I start building more buildings here it's like they automatically connect with power so like the people's needs right now they don't need commercial because they have probably a Walmart, Kmart here. Industrial is fine, uh, but they definitely, definitely need some more residential areas. So we'll go ahead and put some more residential areas in. Put. I have to start building more locations. But yeah, this is uh this is City Skylines. Um again, just just I haven't played it in a couple of years, uh, and decided that uh I I'd, I'd play some older games. Um uh, Steam really hasn't had many new uh, free weekends, so I haven't been able to do a free weekend, and they did have one this past weekend, but I wasn't able to do it because my computer was still was still working with uh, making some final adjustments on it. But anyways, uh, so yeah, this is uh, Skyline City Limits. I will continue to play this game for a little while. Um, if you guys have uh, watched it all the way through here, I thank you. It's again, I, I always try to do shorter videos, and they always get longer than what I want. So thanks for uh, sticking around. Uh, give me a Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you like this video, uh, get, leave some comments if you want to see something or have any questions. And uh, till next time, I uh, don't know if I'll do another video of City Limits soon or a different one tomorrow. I guess I'll try to do one a day or one every other day or something like that. Uh, we'll see what happens. But until then, everybody uh, stay safe and uh, see you next time around. Magic Flying Potato. Uh, I am out.